before I start, uh, you can go to my website, www.erichaugenguitar.com, uh, for tabs of this lesson. You can also e uh, find my email through that, and you can ask me any questions you have. I'm a helpful person and like to help people learn things. Let's talk about my tone for this. This is a 1966 Fender Mustang with Tom Brantley, uh, Brantley Rewinds custom pickups. Um, right now I'm using both of them. I am going into, <laughs> I think, every pedal on my board. I'm hitting my fuzz face, which is not a real fuzz face. It's been gutted and redone by my friend Mark Meyer uh, with new old stock OC140 germanium transistors, uh, you know, a, a kits, I, a parts that I got from, what, Small Bear Electronics, I think. Uh, so that's not a stock fuzz, fuzz face. Going into... My Strymon Deco that's giving me a little bit of chorus and a little bit of compression on top of that fuzz. Then hitting my Maleco Echo um, analog delay that's giving me that kind of trail. Yeah, you can hear it there. Going into my Strymon Flint that's giving me reverb. And people don't know this about Strymon Flints, but they also kind of have a, um, they have a tremolo side that has, um, what's it, like a, it almost is like a univibe. <laughs> harmonic uh, tremolo function. It's one of those secret things that they built into the pedal that was like, oh, I don't need to buy a Univibe pedal anymore because the Strymon Flint has it covered. <laughs> All right, let's discuss what this solo is. This solo actually, the, the backing track, well, it's a backing track I made in GarageBand, but um, this, is, this is a solo I, I often take live uh, in my band Fake Swedish, I'll put a link to the, the, the record. It's actually an old song, but it's a, it's a really fun song to play. It's, what's the song called? Oh yeah, Get Correct. On the record I play it on, on a slide guitar, but live I'll often do it this fashion. Um, and I realized that, you know, to talk about was really, where did this come from? It was the idea of thinking about David Gilmour and how well he lands his blues triplets. That was like the principle behind this. And it's, it's, it's funny, I do a lot of stuff that's out of the box, but sometimes I really like the box. So let me walk through the solo and I'll show you what I mean. First lick, you know, it's the, the chord progression is just A minor and F. So solo wise, it's just blues and A. It's very loud. That's a pretty standard riff, you know, I, I, I'll tell you, it's seven, five, seven, five, seven. Here's the perfectly landed Gilmore six tuplets. Let's talk about that, because that to me is what this whole thing is about. Like, we all learn our blues scale, and we, we get pretty good at it, and there, there's this weird time where we try to go fast, and we might not quite get it right, and that's where guys like Hendrix and Gilmore and Stevie Ray Vaughan, and we're, we're all the experts, your Claptons, all of them, are really good at landing that stuff on times and breaking it into threes. So let's, let's look at that. So in the threes, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to not leave a gap because I might screw up if I leave a gap. Again with that pulse. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, trying to just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a great thing to practice. You can even just, you know, pick one lick. You know, we start with that one. That's a huge one. But then you can kind of... That's what I'm trying to get across more than even teaching you really how to play the solo, the idea of sitting around and 
trying to like get that flow to your triplets, just you know, it can be any couple of notes. <laughs> Because there's kind of stock licks that we kind of pick up along the way, like... Or, you know... Kind of like Jimmy Page things, and like, those are cool, but they're not, like, they're not really your own. They're something that you learned from Stairway to Heaven or some such thing. And it's kind of cooler to spend the time and see what you can find. Um, so, let me get back to the solo. Here's the first triplet run. Half step bend. Kind of visit minor there, that's a little. And then I don't really play triplets here, I'm playing minor, that is. Uh, I was kind of still just thinking like a, a Gilmore ish kind of falling thing, like a 8, 7, 8, uh, 7, 9. And then, like I often do, I just repeat what I did there an octave higher. And that's just, you know, Freddie King style there, yeah. And then I do triplets, but out of my fifth uh, root five uh, blues scale. So let's talk about that lick. Um, first of all, that scale. Uh, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 13, 15, 12, 15. That's this one. An octave higher. It's one that, that we forget to know or don't know. Very useful scale. And so I am, what am I doing? I'm at 15. There's my triplets. One, two, three, one. And then I gotta credit my, my friend and excellent guitar player Adam Knowlton from the band Caltrop with this lick. You know, it's a Hendrix lick, but I didn't know it until he showed me it. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a hard one. So that Hendrix trick, I'm pushing that 15 up. And then I'm keeping it there, and my finger kind of gets the, the 15 that's on the uh, B string. So it goes 15 up. Yeah. That's a Hendrix thing. It'll go up, grab the other, and come down. Again, there's that half step bend. And that's kind of a George Harrison move, uh, that one. So let's see, I got 15. And then I'm just going to jump right to that 15 on the high E. Yeah. And then land on an A minor. You know, 12 and 13. Yeah, so that's the solo. So there's a couple of cool Hendrix tricks, a couple of cool Gilmore tricks, and I think the things to take away from this are like, take some time to play your triplets and just spend time with it. It's just hang out in your box and, and think in threes. bet that all your heroes are good at this. It's kind of one of the secrets of being a super duper expert lead guitar player is that you can land triplet runs in 4-4 time really well. All, you know, it's just, it's something that I see that, um, yeah, it's kind of throughout expert um, blues guitar playing is perfectly landed triplets. And yeah, Gilmore's a great example, and yeah, many more. Gilmore, Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, 
John Frusciante, yeah, John Frusciante, he can land some triplets, no problem. All the blues guys can land triplets, your Albert Kings and Buddy Guys. Um, yeah, this is something to work on. <laughs> Well, I hope that is interesting and helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.